Hey YouTube, it's Roman. Today I want to code a batch layer model simulation in Python in under three minutes. So let's get started. We're going to first import NumPy to induce randomness. Then we are going to import matplotlib for visualization. Okay. So now we're going to create our function batch layer sim. We need the spot forward. We need a volatility term. We need a time to uh, simulate to, we need the number of steps to take in between, and we need the number of simulations we want to run. So we're going to create n simulations, and we are going to add our price paths to this array. And we are going to say prices is equal to the spot forward. Then we need to create a DT, which is going to be equally spaced based on the steps parameter. Then we're going to create a time index that starts at zero. And we can say while t index plus dt is less than cap t, we are going to add dt to the time index. And we are going to append a new price, which is based on the previous price, plus sigma times mp.random.normal, standard normal distribution, multiplied by dt, and then the square root. And that was from our analytical solution to the batch layout model from the previous video. Uh, we know this innovation from the definition of Brownian motion. So now we can append this particular path to the paths list, and then we can return the paths at the end of the function. So let's go ahead and visualize this. Paths is equal to Bachelier sim 0 0.3. We'll do one year, 252 days, and then we'll simulate it 100 times. And then we can visualize it by saying for path in the paths list, plt.plot path. And there you have it. That is a Bachelier model simulation in under three minutes. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous videos on Brownian motion and the analytical solution to the Bachelier call price, uh, that will probably solidify the math side of things. And then uh, this is the, the implementation in Python to uh, create the, the actual driftless arithmetic Brownian motion simulation. So. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.